<laughs> no, it, it boils my blood to this day. Yeah. To this day. Yeah. But I will say, I took a game off of him once. Yeah, Fire and Dice. That was cool. Oh, that yeah? Was cool moment. Nice. Yeah. It's my it's only not claim to fame. <laughs> a lot of people can say. Yeah. What, what game? Uh, uh, it was game two. Or is that I mean, uh, Brawl. No, in Smash Ultimate. Ultimate is an ultimate. Yeah, okay. I was playing Lucas, and he two stocked me, and then I switched to Ness, and I two stocked him. And then I stuck with Ness, and he two stocked me again. So it was like. I don't know. Sometimes I have those moments where I feel like my dumb little decisions with my flicking the controller pay off, and I kept trying to do those same things, but I was like, you know what? Let me just slow down and wait for him to do stuff, and then he just like steamrolled me. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty, here. Next winner, Samurai Slayer. Here, we're getting into it with Cosmos and Void. I'm loving the hair. I gotta say that. H is in the chat. You like their hair. <laughs> they, I was gonna say something about their hair. So yeah. Would, what was it? I couldn't think of anything to say, <laughs> so I just didn't say anything. I got anyway, you, bro. I got yeah, you. yeah, you got me. Anyway, getting back here again. Saying that a lot. Uh, Void. He's got some damage. The thing about damage, though. The Joker is that it brings out that his little friend. He's not that little. He's actually very large, yes. Yeah. And uh, that's going to help Void find his way back into this. That top hat is excellent. He can find any of these hits. So many of those Jokers love to go to the, for the side B offstage uh, when, when they're offstage just because uh, you're kind of like thinking about your ledge trap, what you're going to do there, and you just get hit, and then they can recover basically for free. Yeah, it's so weird like getting hit by that when people are recovering because you have stage control. You should be like, whatever someone else is throwing out like, as like an anti-ledge guard should be easy to react to, but I don't know. I see that happen way too often. I think people just got to figure out Joker a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, when you play against Joker, so much of the matchup revolves around Arsene. Try and, I mean, you, you need to be careful with your projectiles and stuff that you're not going to send. Get, get his counter out there and get Arsene out earlier. Yeah. Uh, and you're playing around it and he gets, he gets out. I mean, the best way to handle Joker is to just keep, uh, sorry, keep uh, Arsene is to keep Joker in disadvantage. Um, you just want to hit uh, Joker off stage. You want him to, you know, because every one of those hits you get too is going to lower that meter. Oh, really? Yeah, when Arsene is out, every time you get a hit, it lowers the meter faster. Okay. And it's out of the window, I believe, for this percent. Joker a little lighter, so. Yeah, you're talking about that um, Cosmos really knows his uh, percent for, for that ding-dong. Yeah, I mean, you, you gotta sometimes, one of the things that, I love this. I love when I see that, when people just running back and forth. Yeah, the dash dancing. <laughs> But like in that specific situation where it's like shielding, it's like roll, yeah, roll. Who's gonna make uh, the first move? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean that's Smash Bros, right? Yeah. Neutral is the most important part of this game. Yeah. As opposed to like more combat, like when I think of games that are like fighting platformers, like Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, it's a different kind of neutral, you know? This is so like. 360, like, so many different directions you can go with this. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot more uh, vertical uh, space in these games, I'd say. And the element of knocking your opponent off just definitely changes how Ooh. the game works. Wow, that was a great recovery from Void. A lesser player would have been gimped long ago. <laughs> Back air here, Void is... Toast. Oh no no! no he saved he his jump Arsene. there. Wow. Yeah, yeah Arsene. Void has to land some hits here if, with Arsene. He's, he's not going to make this recovery with Sojo most likely. Yeah, I see Void's uh, Joker kind of just going for a lot of these hits that just aren't connecting, and I'm wondering what adjustments 
he can make? I don't know. I, I, I know him as a Pikachu main or Pikachu main from this game. So it's hard for me to kind of see where he's going with the Joker pick. We live boys. Oh, uh, but not for that. 250. Yeah. Yeah, most of, that, most of that last talk was just him surviving and not landing anything in right. his cosmos. Yeah, I mean, it's always impressive when you can live that long, but if you can't make anything happen with that stock, then it's not really much of a point to it. Yeah. And I always like watching this part when players pick their secondaries. I'm like, are you going to switch back? I've seen I've yeah. seen too many times. I'm you always like, the hair? oh, no, the hair, amazing, but... The character choice. Like, I'm wondering, like, yeah, is he going to really switch? thinking about it. Yeah, yeah see? I bring saw out it in his face. Yeah. I'm, I'm just commentating. I'm not saying that I'm laying any curses. I don't do witchcraft. But, you know? No, it was a, it was purely scientific. I mean, yeah, like, it was psycholo psychological. You saw the micro expressions in his face. Yeah. You're like, you knew what was going to happen next. And the comp. You really know what you're talking about, Jack and Mac. I can't. She just did all that, and then, uh, and then like with two hits, like yeah. inkling caught up. Yeah, she took down damage out, but not that great. Um, I'm not gonna complain about it. I don't. I feel like I would be complaining about it the other way if I was playing against <laughs> this character. Right. But it does seem kind of sad to watch. Yeah. I mean, in, I think in this game, what I've seen is like. She lost her like combo game, but it feels like her s hits are a little stronger in this game compared to the last one. Like, yeah, you could keep them in a relentless combo, like for like ever in the early percents, but then she struggled getting kills. And in this game, it seems like you know she doesn't have the combos, but just oh. wow, that was amazing. That, yeah, uh, unfortunately, I don't think you could this. Maybe uh, you could carry like Bowser or someone huge off the stage like that, but not Inkling. Yeah, but Void took him pretty far for even being Inkling. Yeah, I, I mean, I was I was wondering if you see some kind of bouncing fish read off the stage there. True, he get that stock. I think he just didn't do it, like because he would have died. It looked like he thought maybe he could get another up forward air. It kind of it was looked difficult to see what was going on in the blast zone there. Yeah. Well, after that second jump at uh, at the very edge of the what's visible uh, on the screen, I felt like that was the moment for the bouncing fish. He didn't see it, so it was like, all right, let me just not die. But yeah, it's really interesting seeing Void uh, after all the characters he's switched around from to see him pick Cheek. You know, he's like bread and butter from Smash 4. He's doing better. Yeah, he's uh, he's been playing this character a lot. In fact, I thought he was fully transitioning towards this character with the Joker. Maybe he's just trying out Joker again today, but he has been in character crisis for a long time. Um, I think what he ended, what he did say is Sheik is his main, but he's using Joker for certain matchups. Wow. Across the stage. Yeah, that Nair is great for stuffing out a lot of what Inkling wants to do, but uh, Inkling does has, have that back air there, which will most certainly beat the move out. So at kill percent, um, Void really needs to watch out. Of course, a, even at lower percents, that back air does lead to some combos as well. Yeah, he gets a jab here. Lots of Nairs here. Coming out. He's trying to bully Cosmos. Great down smash. Yeah, he gets a down smash there. Okay. Gets, yeah, gets some cooking here a little bit. Boy. Yo, the chef there. is in. Yeah. In there. Boy, hopping around. Cosmos moves forward aggressively. Cos the boy wasn't ready for it, but now Cosmos is the one in a bad spot. He's going to jump high, though. And they, the, they just keep switching. The situation is just reversing back and forth here. This is crazy stuff coming out from both the players. A lot of Goes shifting the Trump. <laughs> okay, gets an up smash. I don't know if that was the best punish there. Maybe he uh, was just going for damage, though. Okay, gets grabs ledge. Oh, no. He's looking for uh, that uh, jab lock, he said. Yeah, I think. Oh, back air. Yeah, that. 
That move beat out the forward air. That move is huge. I'm gonna say now. Did you? Possibly. I think he was doing pretty well with his cheek there. Same, same. But then I think like, you know, all of Smash 4, you just know Void as Sheik. And Sheik not being better in this game makes it seem like, all right, yeah, he did better, but is he gonna like surprise with anything? Okay, they're trying to call it this time. I was gonna, yeah, I think I was feeling myself a little bit too much. It's all right. It's yeah, not no, like I th I, I'm gonna lose this commentation. But maybe I am losing it. I, don't know. I think that Void feels the most comfortable as Sheik, and that's why he decided to play this character. Yeah. I I think for the rest of the set we're going to be seeing him as Sheik, if he, even if he manages to take this game. Yeah. I'm loving the the music choice. The target. That's, that's man. I miss the targets. I think those were the most fun part of melee. Like, where is that? I mean, most fun this Smash player. Run too. Smash Run was dope. I never played the, the Man, Game Boy Advance, or the, it was for the DS, right? Yeah. It was a great, uh, great little mode. Jack sends him off stage. Okay, reversal with the needles. I don't, that sends them a little weird. I love, I love the momentum shifts from the reverses. It's like something that, like, I feel like Zero made so faint. Oh, drag down up air into up smash there. That's a great kill setup for uh, Sheik and exactly what she needs. Bring him down. Game. Bring him down to the ground, send him up to the clouds. Oh yeah, the diamond cutter is that what what that call is what that is called. Okay. And Needles Void is not letting up on the pressure. Yeah, he is feeling really comfortable right now. Ooh. Oh wow, that should have connected. Yeah, like, that, in my opinion, yeah, in your mind. Yeah, in my mind. Yeah, it, yeah, it, in my a lot of these moves just come out so quickly. It's uh, you really need to know your combos in this game. But yeah, Void getting hit there, unfortunately for him. Uh, roller. It's crazy too, because I feel like in this game, true combos aren't as true as they used to be in other games. So it's a lot more like you know, like just less like, hits done. Yeah, which means people could get Back away there. easier. Okay, puts the grenade low. He tries to go for the set up the tech situation. Okay, down smash. Cosmos is off stage again. It's the trade. All of these trades are benefiting Sheik for the most part, right? Yeah, I'd say. Um, but now, Cosmos finally gets that stock, but he's at 163 right now. Dash attack not enough, but up air will. Smash 4 classic. I'll keep saying it. You guys thought that that game was over? Nah, I'm gonna bring it up. Smash 4. Smash 4. Yeah. Up here, gonna take that stock. And you got Void at 0% and a stock ahead. Yeah, such a long combo, I think, especially for this game, but only yielding 34%. Okay. It's always fun to watch a Void combo with this character. And yeah, it's his back. Attack against his back air. Okay. Cosmos at 77. Wow, he was trying to end it yeah, all. Well, not all. That stock. Yeah, right Right now, Void's looking for a lot of his kill setups. He can get an early one. Uh, maybe one of those drag down up there is about to match. I think he's a little out of that range right now, but maybe some kind of needle setup in the bouncing fish off stage will also kill. He just needs to get him off there first. Okay, charges needles. Tries to get him going high there. Send him off again. Dash attack. Like, wait him out right now. Yeah. There's always this moment, I feel like, with Sheik mains where, like, when they have the, the lead, they will. N they don't care if they spam you with, like, needles. They'll do it. Oh, yeah. Well, Void has said that he. Ooh. Wow. Weak Nair into Bouncing Fish, gonna take the first game. Um, yeah, I mean, if Void takes a set, all SoCal Grand Finals. It's pretty hey, crazy. Let's go. For, a, for an event that's stacked with a lot of global PR players. You see this guy in the back of Void's camera vibing. I'm vibing, vibing with hard, him. dude. Shoot. Yeah, now he's tweeting about it. Void has said that he likes, uh, that he uh, uses the needles to kind of remind, remind him to sort of stay off camp a little bit, play a little more passively. See, with, with Lucas, I PK Fire is that for me because I never use it, yeah. which is weird because I, I feel like every Lucas main is like 
hell yeah, I'm gonna stand there until you die. But me, I'm just like, I don't know. I like being a brawler. And then I'm like, oh yeah, I have PK fire. I should use that, huh? Yeah. So it reminds me, like, there's that distance that I can't keep. Oh yeah, so those PK fires and, and uh, tethers are great for keeping your opponents out. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, he's so far out. And I was pretty far out of a combo. He gets the one needle there, but it's not going to lead into anything. Man, even just one needle will, like, just stop your momentum. Yeah, it's similar to the pellets. It, it makes these pellets. And now I guess, like, Banjo's little weird egg thing, in a weird way. Like, <laughs> Yeah, that one's a little weird because it hits you up. Yeah. But it's like, I don't know, like, I've fought a good amount of banjos online, and sometimes they just spam that, and it's like, whoa, like, I really have to oh, figure out how to get it. Oh, the up, uh, up smash, uh, drag down up smash. Uh, kill there again. He misses it out on it. Yeah. Okay. Grab, let's grab. Can turn it. Cosmos is, uh, it looked like he was overwhelmed there that last game, but this game is a little more close. It's like both players are finding equal cool amount of openings here. Oh, drag that down. was such a cool setup. Down tilt into drag down, up air into down smash. Love it. Break dancing on him. Vo yeah, Void but has labbed a lot of setups with this character. And Sheik is still very deadly in this game if you get those right setups. A lot of stuff with drag down. Uh, up air. Yeah, and what's the point of mashing? <laughs> Just imagining Void sitting there now and being like, what's the point? <laughs> like ER no, like, or something. Like, he's just like, ah, sigh. Yeah. Void sigh. Yeah, Void sigh. <laughs> somebody, uh, somebody needs to make it like a make meme it, of that or make something. Make an emote. Guys, <laughs> we're resilient people, Smash players. Anyway, ledge traps. Void finds his way around. Air fades uh, away. All he can get there is dash on that, but that's going to be good, good damage for him. Oh, gets the... He had the tech. I, if he just uh, uh, waited, he might have been able to get a diamond cutter. But wow. that up air will also kill. That was great. Just, like, the momentum that Void got from that whole, like... That wasn't even a combo, but he just forced uh, Cosmos to jump away from it all. Caught him with that up air, take the stock. And now formidable lead. Yeah, I really feel like, so, Inkling's got solid movement, and uh, but Sheik's is even better. Like, this character can really move, and I feel like uh, uh, Cosmos is just kind of having trouble uh, figuring out, like, when Void wants to go in and, and, and what he's trying to do. Uh, that Void's movement is just really throwing Cosmos for a loop here, and that's how he's able to do so well here. But up smash, I mean, that move, like, pulls you into it. it a lot like a Marth's up smash, except the last game we saw it did not connect against oh, yeah. Larry. <laughs> Good times. Okay, goes for jab here. This is what Cosmos needs. He's got Void covered in pain. Uh, he can put on some big, big damage, but looks like he's not going to get anything. Yeah, Void just really like setting himself up with so many uh, moves. Hitboxes that just kind of like create a good defense for him. And with that speed, uh, it looks like Cosmos is having a hard time finding his opening. Yeah, at this percentage though, Void really needs to just find a kill setup or something like that because uh, stray hits aren't going to do much for him until he gets to a much higher percent. So he's kind of in a bad spot here. This is a pretty even game at this point. Yeah, for real. Ooh, yeah, even an ups a, a smash attack could kill it. Sheik is a very light character. Yeah, and Cosmos is tightening up his defense, uh, trying to just play uh, play patiently until he could find his own opening. And all he really needs is like one side beam that connects. Okay, gets a dash attack. Yeah, that back air will beat out that forward air every time. Okay. Two jabs and two down to the back air. Back air, nice. Stuff going in from Void here. We're going to game five. Are we going to have the all SoCal Grand Finals? That'd be very. Let's hear it in the chat. I mean, Let's see it in the chat. I'm sorry. Hey, Leo and Cosmos are here, and and if they don't both get in the finals, that'd be 
great for the region. For yeah. real. We need this. So cow. Come on, send it your spirit bombs. It definitely does feel like in this game we've really been uh, aloof, not up to the same standards as in Smash 4. It's, it's all right. We in the lab. We're trying to make these big comebacks. Yeah. The, the game hasn't even been out a year. I feel like a lot. Like I was just having a conversation the other day, and I was bringing something up from I don't know how long ago, but they said, "Well, that was two years ago, man." Dude, this game has not been out a year. How is that? It's just we're in the hyperbolic time chamber with this game. <laughs> yeah, I definitely feel like this is a very young game, um, and some people say that to me and say that I, I sound crazy. But like, I mean, you think about how old Melee is and how long we were playing Smash Four for. Like yeah, we we juice we squeeze the most out of that juice. Yeah, for sure. Anyway, we're game five here, guys. This is uh, the winner of semis here. The winner of this goes into winners finals and plays against Larry. Grand finals. Right? Oh, winners finals. Oh my goodness. I'm just trying to see some blood out here. I'm trying to trying to see who gets the grand finals already. Yeah, yeah stuff them out with the needles. I, I like that we're seeing, yeah, Void use the needles to stuff Cosmos out a little bit and frustrate him. He hasn't been, he's been more using it for confirms and, and those kind of things, but uh, just uh, making Cosmos think twice about uh, approaching him and making him uh, respect the needles as an option in neutral uh, is great because it opens up to a, a lot of more things for him, for uh, Void to do, might keep him Make, it might make think Cosmos think next, think twice about all the dashing around he's doing. Yeah, and it's like it's really cool because um, you really see how they're each adapting to each other. Um, it took me this long to realize that Void is at 166%, and he's still alive. Yeah, that's a really high percent for a uh, Sheik player, uh, Sheik to be living for. But there's not a lot you can do here. Uh, he needs uh, back air. Or that was a great recovery. Yes, it was. It was a very good recovery. Like, Cosmos did not see that coming. He's like, oh shoot, you're right in front of me. Ah. <laughs> Sometimes that's what your opponent leads suspects for you to just jump in their face. I feel like there's a word for that that I'm thinking about a movie. I'll come back to that. Right to the back here. That's, that's close. Ooh. Oh, gets the needles to bouncing fish concern. Yeah. That's what you're talking about. Kind of like he goes back and forth between like, all right, I'm a space with needles, and then I'm going to go for my kill setups. I love that punish there from Cosmos. He got the parry there and just went out and forward air Cosmos to get that stock. And if you're ever wondering if a parry was accidental or not, or on purpose, just go with it was on purpose. It makes this whole game a lot more thrilling to watch. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure that one was uh, intentional from Cosmos because he was ready for that punish. Just like I said. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, forward throw, bouncing fish, still a thing. Ooh. Well, we he have did, a very he did a neutral B back onto stage and then jab. Yeah, that was cool. It's like Ch uh, Charizard coming back with flame breath. With flame breath. Yeah, it's all about what your opponent least expects, and uh, I can't say Cosmos was expecting that. And Void just trying to end that stock there, oh, yeah. catching the roll with the diamond cutter. Back to ledge. Huge pressure coming in, and uh, Void just getting a little too aggressive here. Yeah. Void taking a few seconds to collect himself. His, his last stock here in this set. Unless they tie. <laughs> what? What? That'd be crazy. Can they tie? Yeah, there's 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 rules for that. There's stipulations for this? Yeah, it's happened before. I know that uh, um, Ally and Zero went to sudden death one time in the Grand Finals in Smash 4. Uh, yeah, the rules are are not that you go to s such death. It's it's you play with one less uh, one stop and like a limited amount of time. I think. Yeah, but that's what I meant. Like that yeah. happened, so they had to do that one stop. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ooh. Oh, 
the camera had a hard time ca keeping up with them. Yeah. It's like a little DBZ moment where you just see like boom, boom in the air. I mean, yeah. that's kind of what makes it a little more epic though. It's like you don't know what's going down, on down there. And Guha, wow. that's going to be it. If Cosmos takes it. If you weren't at the edge of your seat, you better be off of it now. Yeah, that was, that was cool to see. And <laughs> good to see that they're all laughing about it. Yeah. All right, so it looks like your grand final, or uh, sorry, your winner's finals will be Cosmos and Larry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, getting word from uh, HQ, yeah, that sounds like it is true. But uh, I'm just kidding. We don't actually get anything here. This is just no. We do sometimes. Over. Sometimes Nate talk to us. Nate. The voices they come. Yeah, the voices in, in my head. Nice. Anyway, um, Larry pulling out his controller. Looks like we're already getting into this. Yeah. They want to let it fly. Man, it's always like they got this little camaraderie going on too. Whenever I go up on stream, I'm like, I hate you. I want to. 